Ball. Return of the knuckleball, my friends. That's what we're gonna do. We are going to make you a super baller and it will be as easy as it's ever been. Let's go. Let's try that again. Ball. Jesus Christ. Let's go. All right, so we're going to demystify the knuckleball. Do you know why we're gonna do that? Because everyone is too afraid to try and do it. Everyone's tried 50 different ways. We're going to give you the easiest way. Are you? They're applauding for me. Now, the reason they're doing that and the reason they're applauding for me is because this is the easiest way to knuckleball. It is the easiest way. Now, we're gonna use two separate parts to do this. There's the David Luiz knuckleball, and the other one is just your basic bro knuckleball. So in order to do this, all you have to do with the David Luiz one is, what matters is ball. Actually, you know what? Don't give me a ball because I'm just, I don't trust them. Okay? What matters is where you strike, where you hit the ball. That's all. David Luiz has figured out that if you hit the ball low, underneath, what's gonna happen is it will dip at the very least. It might not knuckle as much, but it will dip. Now, on the other one, what matters is only your surface area. And I'm wearing the Predators today because they have a very large surface area. The smaller your foot, the harder it is to knuckle ball. This big wide surface area makes it very easy. So when you're going to strike, you've got to strike it right here, okay? Same thing applies, hit it right under there, and you're good to go. Now your approach when taking a knuckleball is very important. You can see guys like Bale, Ronaldo, all these guys had incredibly different ways to approach the ball. Some of you guys can just walk straight up and some of you might wanna notice the fact that every time before they strike the ball, they lean forward like this. They're on their toes. And the reason for that is because of how when you go to strike, look at my body. My body's staying up and it's staying in this position because that's what you really want. You want that straightness when you go to strike the ball. You're not gonna follow through entirely, all right? So this point is only about the way that you walk up. You do not need to take a huge run and sprint. You might walk, take a couple steps to the side, walk up to it. Make sure that when striking the ball, instead of leaning entirely over it, maybe you, you stand up, all right? Keep your body straight, which goes completely against how you would normally shoot, but in this time, it's the knuckleball, and it's the return of the knuckleball. Let me get my sunglasses, though. Let me get my sunglasses. Let me get my... Let me get a ball then. Let me, Jesus. Did you guys see me ask for, let's go, next point. Now, as we said, we are going to demystify the entire knuckleball and we're going to give you the one thing that will make it very easy. Striking a ball while it's dead standing is very hard. If you wanna make a knuckleball happen, all you gotta do is make it roll forward. This slight roll forward allows you to get a perfect, perfect angle for the knuckleball. It's one of the easiest ways to make the ball knuckle, and we'll show that to you right here. Not that good of a shot, but uh, did knuckle. Okay, let's go. What? Ball? No, forget it. No, I don't even know. That's the vid, my friends. You know exactly what to do. Make sure to check out all the links right down below from us here at Unisport, and we will see you guys next time. Ball! Oh.